Even my people, we are in the midst of some absolutely stunning gin drinking weather. In fact, I was up at Norton Distillery on Friday night, um, the local producers night, um, trying some uh, Imbue Distillery, some Nort Distillery, and some H&M Distilling products, and a whiskey out of um, Kinnick Distillery. Um, I had to pour the other half into the car. I was, um, how should we say, pleasantly numb. Thank good when I coughed on the way home. So, it's, for as you, last week or so, it's been brilliant weather. I was out doing it today. Today is middle of November. We're leading up to Christmas. I'm about to do the, um, you know, booze that we should be all getting into ourselves into Christmas to make us a very merry Christmas. So, I love a dry gin. I know, it comes as a real surprise to you. I love a dry gin. <clears throat> and one that I have had on my shelf up there, well, up there, not up here, um, for a while, and forgive me because it's actually been Port Phillip Distilleries Hell's Bells London Dry Gin. So it's a London Dry Gin, Governor. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I do a horrible English accent. So, the sound of happiness. Smell of Heaven is, is <clears throat> my friend Chris is not lying. It is a London dry gin. It is a dry and they'd be calling it the Sahara, I tell you. So it's 43% and we are going to expect that because this is a London dry gin, it is not going to be the most complex of creatures. Okay, it's got to have juniper, it's going to have a truck ton of coriander in it and it will go in a lethal gin and tonic or um, just, I don't know, to it neat on the rocks. I mean, I've been known to drink worse. Go and check out the bathtub gin that I made recently, and I was drinking a lot worse. That was any rougher, and it would be was barking at me and chasing five cars. So, yeah, very, very workable dry gin. I mean, everything that I've reviewed from Port Phillip Distillery, whether it's their premium vodka, which would have to be the best vodka I've drunk in many a long hot summer's day, um, through to down as Fury, or which is now just Fury because, well, yeah, it's just furious. Um, <clears throat> sorry, the sanity, you know, that sort of stuff. So, Chris is producing some really good stuff. And someone is knocking on the door because someone should be asleep. And I'm going to close my door so that person doesn't knock on my door because that person should be in bed with his pajamas. So, yeah, very, very simple. It's on the dry gin, and I wish I could really <clears throat> waffle on ad nauseum about um, how complicated it is, but <laughs> dry gins are just not one of the dry gins are really just not very complicated creatures at all. They're far simpler than I am, should such a thing ever be possible. This is going to be absolutely lethal drinking over um, summer. You know, um, we've had <clears throat> this 130 degree day recently that had just go out and buy two bottles of this, add them into a very large jug with um, the appropriate amount of um, tonic, keep it between Mediterranean, preferably, ice, and just whack a straw in. God knows, glug, 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 glug. And life would be pretty well complete, and Chris would be a very happy man. I forget how much it goes to, having for that, I will be including a link on it. Now, there's going to be lots of things happening because I've got to do that list of Christmas because Christmas is a month away and we've all got to stock up on booze. So there will be um, Hegemon Chai Gin, something I picked up from on Saturday night, Friday night, and I'm going to be drink, doing White Light Vodka. Um, the White Light Vodka is actually made in Pram, so it's local. Whereas Hegemon, H. Kilmartin Gin, I am certain is almost regional. Um, in plenty, yeah, just pastels them. So, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, people. My people, the drinking season is upon us. We should go out and drink better quality gin. Drink local, big drink local, drink big, go home, or go home and drink big and drink local. I'm Odin, and you can expect more quality booze. I think this year's been a bit big, just wait until next year. 
it's just gonna be mind-blowing people my people that subscription button is not gonna push itself